Uh, Wayne was signed to do the series before Alan. Uh, Alan, as you said earlier, you know, was the last person to sign on. Uh, I'm not sure that Wayne was that comfortable with with um, some of the stuff I wrote. Maybe it, it maybe got too jokey. Maybe it, you know, didn't deliver for his character what what he had hoped. It wasn't a matter of my writing more jokes for him. He that's not what he was unhappy about. Wayne was very diplomatic, and Wayne has always said that his beef was with the studio, that certain conditions weren't met, certain promises weren't met, and that's why he wanted out when he wanted out. Um, but he did his he did his uh, full measure on the set. He never dogged it. He he you know he worked very hard. Um, and I was very grateful to have him. McLean, um, as you as you ask me these questions, I realize how unique each one was uh, as a person, as a performer. Uh, McLean hadn't had a lot of, I think, uh, training as an actor. Alan had. Uh, Larry Linville, Lorette, I believe, uh, Gary Berghoff. McLean was really a, McLean was McLean, a terrific personality, a person who could project how he was rather than inhabit a part, you know, and take on other characteristics. Uh, to some extent, I, that may have made him uncomfortable, I'm not sure. But I loved him. I thought he was a Latter-day uh, Fred McMurray. I thought he would have had a big career as that kind of an actor. Um, uh, I was very sad to see him go. You know, he, he really didn't, um, he had two more years on his contract. And um, when he said how much he really did want to go, we said goodbye very reluctantly and, and let him out of, the, we, uh, Fox let him out of the contract because we said, you know, it's really very difficult to work with people who don't want to be working with you. It wasn't personal. He just wanted to get on in another way. And I was extremely sad to see him go because he was a wonderful uh, foil for comedy. He was very, uh, he was just believable in that part because he was being himself. Well, Harry gave us a chance to have another kind of uh, camp commander, a regular army man, uh, someone who would stand up for the thing we were always knocking down. We thought it was, you know, um, a very good solution to what was a difficult problem. We couldn't hope, we didn't even want to try to get somebody who had um, max comic skills, but... Uh, Certainly, Harry's dramatic skills and comedy skills are, you know, unparalleled in a way. What has he had? Seven successful series now. Um, so it gave us a whole new avenue to explore by, by by bringing in Harry, and I think he was invigorated by working with a lot of younger actors, and the family spirit that invaded the uh, invaded <laughs> infused the um, the series permeated permeated. Find me the word. My thesaurus is broken. Mike Farrell. Uh, we looked a long time before we found somebody uh, that could um, share the swamp. Mike was perfect. Mike was, uh, he didn't have to fake sincerity, which is uh, a cottage industry in our business. He, he really did feel that a lot of the ideas we were espousing were ideas he, he could connect with. That plus his, his, his craft and his amiability in the industry made him a perfect member of the cast. Loretta, again, you know, just a I don't think people know how hard these people work. People on the other side of the box know how hard uh, actors in any profession work, but especially television, because, and especially a one-camera show, because this is not a matter of going through it once for an audience and then doing pickup shots. We would do take three, take four, take six, take ten. Um, and then people would hang around to do uh, a scene that they're not in so that they can feed each other the lines. And Loretta was always just the most, uh, uh, she was just very hardworking. I, I, I said, uh, I wrote her recently, I said, I polished the words, but you made them shine. She really uh, always surprised me. She always found a little something that I didn't see in the line uh, that just enhanced it, made it that much better. Gary uh, was phenomenal, is a phenomenal actor. Um, he does that thing that actors are supposed to do, and not all of them do. Uh, he listens when other actors are speaking to him or speaking to someone in a scene. And yet he'll do something on his own that doesn't take away from the focus. Uh, he's just a fine, fine actor by instinct and by training.
<laughs> Larry's, uh, I think it's a good thing Larry got the series or he would have been locked up somewhere because Larry's got a fine streak of madness in him. Um, and he brought some of that madness to Frank Burns. That uh, when I say madness, I don't mean, you know, I don't really mean clinically insane, but just goofy. Um, and he's another actor. He's, he's, uh, he's, uh, he, it's all for the art. You know, it was Larry who told us that his brother used to call him Ferret Face. So we used Ferret Face. You know, um, an actor's willingness to, to be naked in front of the camera is remarkable. And Larry, not only was he born naked, he performs naked. I've heard Bill say that he thought MASH was a series about a priest in Korea. I think he really believes it. So maybe he's the one who should be locked up. But uh, there's another case of, a, of, uh, of industry plus experience plus uh, devotion, which always resulted in a superior performance.